hi guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to make a simple car racing game on scratch at the end of this video you are going to be able to make a game just like this one Let's get started. So, first, um, we are going to work with the race tracks and the car. Okay. So, um, we're going to start with the race track. So, go to the race track sprite. You got. You have to have a race track sprite. Okay. And here I have a race track sprite. Um, it has two costumes. You can make your own race tracks. Okay. The race tracks. Uh, the shape of the race tracks doesn't really matter. The uh, point is just makes your race track re not really big. If it's too big, it's it will re ruin it will destroy the game. <clears throat> but if it's too small, it will be um, the game will be destroyed too. Okay, so uh, the size is about this size, 100. And to start, just add a when green flag is click it block. Okay, over here, and then <clears throat> go to X, 8, and Y. Six, okay this is the position in the screen you can adjust the position the position of your sprite okay and then it will switch costume to normal <coughs> normal and then we're going to go to the car sprite so for the car when green flag is click it it will point in direction 90 and then it will go to x negative 100 and y negative 129 okay and then don't forget to add a uh, go to front layer block okay like that now go to controls and add a forever block and then add an if then block we're going to work with the controls of the car okay so if key up arrow is pressed then it will move forward It will move how about five, three steps, okay? It will move three steps. And then if it's touching uh, the edge of the racetrack, which is the color yellow, we're going to add a touching color block. So use this. Pick the color yellow, which is on the screen, okay? Like that. If touching color yellow, then it will move the opposite of three steps which is negative three steps and then duplicate this code duplicate if down arrow key is pressed to move back then it will move negative three steps if it's touching the uh, edge of the racetrack then it will uh, move three steps okay put it under here let's test it so I'm going to press up arrow as you can see it's moving straight every time it's touching the yellow the yellow part of the racetrack it will stop now I'm going to press uh, down arrow and it is moving back but if it is touching the edge of the racetrack then it will stop okay it will stop moving now uh, when we are he and here at here and I want to turn I cannot turn I can only move uh, in a straight line so to make it available to move just stop the program first and then go to controls and I add another if then block okay so if key right arrow is pressed it will um, go to motions and add a uh, turn right side to uh, at five degrees okay and then duplicate this code uh, left arrow key is pressed and it will turn left five degrees okay let's give it a test We haven't refreshed it, okay? Yeah, 
and it's working perfectly. There we go. Yep, there we go. So that is all how you make the racetrack and the car. Okay, on to the next step. <coughs> So next, we are going to work with checkpoints, okay? Checkpoint, checkpoints, and the finish line. So first, go to checkpoint one. We're going to wait. we're going to work with two checkpoints. You can add more checkpoints, but uh, it's up to you, okay? So for the first checkpoint, I'm going to add when green flag is clicked. We we'll go to X 108 and Y 135, okay? And then it will also show. And then for checkpoint two, add a show block. When green flag is clicked, it will go to x negative 170 and y negative 5, and then it will show. Okay. Now for the car, go back to the car. So go to controls and add an if then block. <laughs> so if the car is touching checkpoint one, it will. Go to events, it will broadcast a new message and it's called check point one. Okay, now make a new variable and it's called check points. Now, when the flag is clicked, it will set checkpoints to zero, okay. If it's touching checkpoint 1, then it will change checkpoints by 1. Now, go to checkpoint 1, and when I receive checkpoint 1, it will hide. Okay, now go back to the car sprite. Duplicate this code again. This time, if touching checkpoint 2, then it will change check checkpoints by 1, and then it, this time it will broadcast checkpoint 2, okay? Checkpoint 2. Drag it into the code. So, add a hide block and checkpoint 2. When I receive checkpoint 2, it will hide, okay? Now, Go back to the car sprite. Now we're going to go the last thing, and which is it is the finish line. For the finish line, you don't need to add anything. Just when the flag is clicked, and it will go to x negative 100 negative 65 and y negative 125. Now go to the car sprite again. Go to controls and add a if then block. So if add the end block, okay. So if touching the finish line, if touching finish line, and if the checkpoints equals two, checkpoints equals two, then it will broadcast the end, and it will stop all. Okay. So it will only broadcast the end uh, if the car has collected all the checkpoints, okay? So if the car uh, wanted to cheat it, it will not, it, it, it can't because you need, to kill, you need to collect all the checkpoints which is the blue thing over here and here. So, it, you, so you have to drive all the way from over here to over here and then from over here to over here from the first checkpoint to the second checkpoint and from the second checkpoint back to the finish line like that so you cannot cheat okay now go back to the racetrack and when i receive the end it will switch costume into the end okay let's give it a try i'm just going to hide the variable okay click on the green flag Yep, we cannot move. I'm just going to click on the green flag again. So you just need to refresh it, okay? And 
the end so uh, uh, we already collected all the two checkpoints and then we went back to the finish line and the end like that okay so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something new from this video uh, so you can check out the project by check the, by clicking the project link in the description of this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel okay and don't forget to share this video to your friends and family who love coding okay thank you for watching bye